Hi, my name is Alec from Mask Audio Electronics. I love octave fuzzes. I even make a few of them. But I also own a bunch of them. I thought it'd be a fun thing today to go through a couple that I have in my hoard and show them off. This is where it all started for me, the Devi Ever bit. This was my first boutique fuzz and really just messed me up for life. It's designed to sound like a dying NES, super distorted saw waves with an almost overwhelming octave. And most importantly, the 15 year old me, Robin Fink from Nine Inch Nails had one on his live pedal board. <laughs> While it's not the best Devi ever octave fuzz, that would be the Vintage Fuzz Master, it is the one nearest and dearest to my heart. So I've been friends with Guion from Holy Island Audio for a few years now, and he really is my fuzz twin. While I design things to be kind of burly and splatty, he designs things to be straight up clang. And nothing epitomizes that approach better than the abracadaver. No knobs, no masters. Now I am lying directly to your face. There are two internal knobs on the abracadaver, one for volume and one for clang. It comes stuck at maximum clang as all things should be. But if you roll it off just a little bit, it becomes a beast of a stacking pedal. And if you want more Mask Audio and Holy Island Audio, we did collaborate together on this Stop Fuzz a few years ago. It's the Abracadaver stacked with my Yes Fuzz, and it's a whole hell of a fun time. we were done with no knob pedals oh my child how wrong you are let me tell you about the grumble scuzz this is a clone of the union tube and transistor bumble fuzz that was gifted to me as a graduation present from dave at fx layouts thanks dave its lineage derives from the k fuzz which in itself is a stripped down super fuzz that was housed in this giant orange wah enclosure that as you rock the treadle, it would actually move the typical super fuzz tone control. But that sneaky third man decided you don't need any form of control. You are the master of your own destiny. If you listen to any of Jack's solo work, this is the go-to solo tone. Next up, the Collector Effectors Moonwolf. While I mostly associate him with mojo fuzzes in the tone bender vein of things, Pat from Collector Effectors also makes this beast of a fuzz. It's based on the very rare GS Wiley Moon Rock, which is what would happen if a Octavia and Ampeg Scrambler got in a car crash. It's got two controls up here, volume and swell. Volume does what you think it does. Swell has this really cool swell effect that kind of overwhelms the transistors and it takes a second for it to come back in. It's really musical. Mud Honey, do you know their seminal proto grunge album Super Fuzz Big Muff? Well, great, the Vandaran Super Ram is exactly that. Mm -hmm. 
The Super Ram is a Frankenstein of different parts of a ram's head Big Muff and a Super Fuzz to create this really fun mixture of the two. The octave and gate controls are really interactive with each other and are at the heart of how you can adjust this pedal and kind of morph between its two sounds. Chris Atdusky is probably best known for his sublime D2O amplifier, but he also makes a bunch of rad pedals, and best among them, in my opinion, is the Augustus. <laughs> Its octave is very unique in the fact that it's super clean for an analog octave and tracks very well up and down the neck. You can crank this thing up and get it really nasty, but one of my favorite things is to turn the meat control almost all the way down to get this kind of clanky spitty fuzz. <laughs> Lastly, my favorite octave fuzz. A fuzz that was so good when I first got it, I was legitimately angry that I didn't make it. Sit down, be amazed by the electronic audio experiments, Obstructure's Fuzz. It is a perfect fuzz. Every slider gives you more. The weight control goes from your standard guitar tone to just way too much bass. The gain control goes from just a bit of boost to full on square wave, absolutely distorted. From there you could blend in a precision rectified octave, which gives you a perfect octave everywhere, just searing, blows your ears up. And like every electronic audio experiments pedal, it's got enough volume to make God come down and tell you it is too damn loud. And that's it for today. Please leave a comment below, tell me what octave fuzzes I should be checking out, and maybe we'll do this again sometime. Please subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you in the next one. And dearest to my heart. Let's try that one again. <laughs> and then the uh, Curb Your Enthusiasm theme plays. Just sh shot of my stressed face, shot of pedal in air. We did it! We did it! I think that was under an hour.